I think it's time for a new one. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I got a kind of random video today. This is something that I typically would not film, but as I was about to do what I'm about to do, I was like, hey, maybe you guys would like to see that. And also, I have something to give away to one of you, so stay tuned to the end of the video for that. So I woke up, I went down to the coffee shop, and I was paying for my coffee and my breakfast, and pulled out my wallet, and I just decided that I kinda wanted to change for a little bit. The seasons are changing, and fall's coming, and winter is soon here too. I'm actually really excited for all that stuff, but yeah, I don't know, I just felt like switching out my everyday carry wallet, so that's what we're gonna do right now. There's absolutely nothing wrong with my contour. This is the one that is branded with the TS logo on the back there. I'm a big fan of this wallet and you've seen it a million times on the channel already. So now I'm going from the contour over to an element, a Travax element. This is probably one of the most recommended wallets that I recommend to people. They come in a lot of different colors and styles and things like that. And I also have another one here, which I will be giving away to one of you at the end of this video. So if you've never had the privilege of opening a Trayvax wallet, this is what it looks like. Really nice subtle packaging. If you guys wanna watch me touring their facility and how they actually make everything, including these boxes, these are all laser cut out and it's pretty cool how they do all of that. On the back here, you get a little bit of an idea of who Trayvax is as a company and everyone that they employ. It's a grassroots American company. They're giving back to nonprofit organizations and you got that 65 year heirloom warranty. I can't say enough good things about this company and you guys already know about all that stuff. So you're probably like, Talon, why are you making a video on switching a wallet? What's the big deal? You take your stuff out of the old one and you put it in the new one. It's a little bit different when it comes to a wallet like this. This is the black and gray element and it was put together by Matt. So Matt, if you're out there watching, you're probably not, but anyone named Matt, thank you. Here's a quick little side-by-side -side comparison. Pretty much the same size, but what I like about this one is that there's a lot of leather. There is leather on this one, of course, but I like leather and metal combos, so I'm gonna switch over to the element for a little while. I actually have an old one back here. Right here is my original element. I carried this one for quite a long time and as you can see, it's sort of patinaed. The leather is super nice and broken in and you can tell that I carried and used this thing for a while. And then compare that to the brand new one. This thing is fresh, baby fresh. So hopefully this one will end up looking like this sooner than later. All right, so pop this new element open and inside you will find two cards here. This one is a message from Mark King, the owner. You guys may have seen him on my channel in the past. There's a QR code here and if you scan that, it will take you to a video which explains a little bit more about the gear and who Trayvax is, again, as a company. And then on this card here, it's a congratulations on the product, thank you for supporting the company, and then there's actually custom fit instructions on the back. So, what I'm going to do right now is show you guys how to custom fit a Trayvax element. First things first, we're gonna get some lukewarm water here. We're gonna fill up this bowl, take the empty brand new wallet, let it soak in here for uh, about 10 minutes. All right, while that new wallet is soaking, I'm going to empty out my current wallet because we're going to kind of get a head start on step number two. Take out the money, I'll set that aside, take out all my cards, and that's it. These wallets are very simple. Now, in my stack of cards, I do have a Trayvax shift comb. I have one of my nice metal YouTube cards. This thing has been in my wallet forever. And then these I'm not gonna show you, but I have two licenses, a credit card, a debit card, another credit card, and a healthcare card. Since one of my IDs and this medical card is sort of like papery, they're not like legit laminated cards, I'm gonna set those to the side for now. I'm actually gonna take both of the cards that came with the element because these are sort of more rigid and plasticky. And I'm gonna put those there in the place of those other cards that I removed. Now I have the same amount of cards here and this is actually going to be used to custom fit the new wallet. Now that 10 minutes is up, I'm going to remove the wallet from the water. 
I like to squeeze a little bit of water out of it because this thing is going to end up drying in the end. Dry it off just a little bit. Now I'm gonna open this thing up, pull out the leather just a little bit. I'm gonna slide in my stack of cards, the ones that I have with me every single day with the Trayvax card on top. Slide them down into place there. I'm gonna take my time to really work this leather around the cards, make sure it's fitting. Almost like how you break in a brand new baseball glove. And we'll snap that closed. This is what we're looking like now. And I'm going to let this thing dry. I'm just gonna wrap this thing in a towel and we'll come back in, I don't know, a couple hours, I guess. All right, I just had this thing sitting outside in the sun for like an hour and a half and it's actually pretty dry already, except for underneath the little tab here. A little bit of moisture in there, but it's not gonna hurt anything. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to remove the two cards that were replacing the ones that I didn't want to get wet. There is a little bit of moisture on my cards, so I'll wipe those off as well. Now I'll put everything back in the order that I want them in. Slide them into the freshly molded leather. Throw my money under the back little clip here. And I have a brand new wallet. So there you guys have it. It is gonna take a little while until this thing starts getting really broken in and patinaed like my old one. But yeah, this is one of my favorite wallets that Trayvax makes and it's one that I can easily recommend because it's not quite as expensive as the contour that I was carrying, but you still get super nice materials, USA made by hand. They just make a killer product just like everything else in their lineup right now. If you think that you would like a minimalist wallet like the Trayvax Element or the Contour or their belts or their lanyard keychains, anything that they make, you can use my code TALON at checkout to save 10% off your order. But I do have one to give away right here. So this one is the tobacco version. Super nice top grain leather on this one put together by Tristan. Shout out to Tristan. And this one is going to go to one of you guys. So you guys know that every time I post a video, I post a photo on Instagram to go along with that video. So go find a photo on my Instagram of this wallet soaking in water, and then like that photo and tag a friend in the comments, and then I'm gonna pick your friend to win. So if you wanna win, maybe you should tell them to tag you in it, but yeah, I'm gonna pick Whoever, after a week, I'm gonna pick your friend to win. So this wallet will be going to one of you out there. And that's all that I really have for now. So if you guys have any questions on any Trayvax product, let me know. I use this stuff all the time and you guys already know that. I got an EDC update coming in the middle of October and you will probably be seeing this wallet then. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week and that's going to be all for today. So as always, Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.